Okay, here we go. Uh, hello and welcome to another stream. My name is Ray and it is Learning Korean with Ray, day 110. Uh, I already started stream three minutes ago, but I realized I still have a stream delay of five minutes set up from my stream uh, of StarCraft on Sunday. So that's why I'm a bit late today. Uh, but yeah, we will start um, we will finish lesson 11 today and then we will go for the practice videos in the end of the lesson uh, but before we do that of course we go into memorize to review some words and because uh, because I was already streaming and already said all of this uh, with a five minute delay that I discarded now um, I already clicked the review button so I'm already in here and we have 40 words to review. The button showed 44, but now it so shows 40. So I don't know. Uh, we have a lot of words to review anyways. 40 is a lot. Uh, so we'll do that and then we'll finish lesson 11. Okay. Uh, to be important. I want to say it was something with uh, uh, yo, yo, and then something with in in the end. That's what I think. But apart from that, I'm not sure. <laughs> and hada probably. So this is the uh, things I know, but. Yeah, I'm missing one important part here. So I will look at the options. Uh, hello, Major Ella Textra. No way, Texta. Major Ella Texta. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I have not seen you before. Um, if you have any questions or so, just go ahead. As you can see, I'm always reading the chat here and reply to all the messages. Um, I would be interested, how did you find my stream? Did you find me on the Discord or uh, was it just random? Like, how, how did you find me? And uh, thanks, Baby Dane, for hosting with one viewer. <laughs> Long time. Long time no see, you mean? Yeah. I mean, I was away for 10 days for vacation in between, so, yeah. Ah, yeah, the category, uh, uh, just uh, chatting. Just chatting, I think, is the category. Yeah, okay, that's very nice, uh, Major Ella Texta. How, sh how should I call you? Just Major or just Texta or just Ella? You tell me. <laughs> okay, so this word, um, it's uh, Jung. Should be Jung. Baby Din, you didn't study for two months, okay? Yeah, well, I didn't study for two, uh, ten days, but now I'm back in it every day. <laughs> okay, I will call you Ella then. So, Baby Dane, go and continue. Go and uh, study again. Okay, so... <laughs> well, that's a stream link. Jung. Oh, it's not correct. Yo Jung, no. To be important. Wait, am I... Conf can my... Am I confused here? Not sure. Okay, let me see all the options. G and don't think so. Yo, I think is the first one, yeah. Maybe Jung Yo, maybe I have it the other way around. Or maybe there's only Da and not Hada. No. 
should be harder. Damn, why don't I know this? Gun. John. Yo, John. Yo, John, Mother. Yo, John, Mother. No. Well, I I don't know it for too long, so I will just press check and accept that it's wrong, and then it would it will get added to my difficult word list. Wait, didn't I? I I did that. I had those two, and I switched them around as well. I must have had a, a space in uh, somewhere, and maybe at the end even. And that's why I didn't accept. Yeah, I definitely had it. I, initially, I had it with the Yo in front, so I had Yo Jung Hada, but I always switched them, and it still didn't work. Okay, so. Okay. Well, at least I had the correct syllables. Um, I'm making a website to go through all of the how to study Korean Korean words. <laughs> well, I don't really understand, Baby Dane. I, w what is the goal of the website you're making? I mean, how to study Korean.com. It's already a website that has all the words, so... I was manually going through all the HTSK vocabulary. Also, for example, that you have a big list of all of the vocabulary and you can search for it and so on. Is that what you mean? The thing is, it, it, it's... It's difficult because um, if you look at the website, um, you realize that there's actually no vocabulary list. I guess that's why you are making the website. But there is. Wait a second. Here, there's a buy a vocabulary list. So uh, he's actually offering this for money. So if you're making a website now that, that offers what he offers, but you offer it for free, but you take his work. Hmm, <laughs> I'm not sure. But yeah, okay, um, anyways. Uh, if you're sure you're doing this and it's it's all fine and morally acceptable and legal, uh, yeah, then good luck with your project. Uh, if you need some help, you can always ask me as well. I'm a software developer. I'm I'm doing this every day, so yeah. If you have any questions or so, you can talk to me. I'm not sure uh, how professional you are doing it ah, okay you are a web developer as well okay perfect then you don't need my help <laughs> okay uh okay then yeah good luck with that project definitely uh, tell me when you have uh, like a a version in the public okay uh ella you also said something you said uh, where are you from a bit more above it's already scrolled out of the window here uh i'm from germany yeah germany where are you from are you also learning uh, korean or are you korean yourself maybe tell me okay so let's go back to memorize So let's continue here. Jung Yo Hada. Jung Yo Hada. Jung Yo Hada. Plants. Kie. Kie. Huek. Kie Huek. Kie Huek. To be scared. Tu. Turiopta. Turiopta. 
alone. Who alone? Is this like Hon Hon Honja? Something like that? Honja? I I want to say it's it's close to that. Maybe not Hon, maybe Hon? Hun? Ah. Hunja. Hunja. Okay, I was actually very close. Very good. Uh, travel. Yo. No, wait. Was it Ye Heng? Yo Heng. Yo Heng, yeah. Yo Heng. Correct. Yo Heng. Okay, uh, high school. Uh, Koding Hakyo. Ko, I think. Ko or Ko, I think. Ko. Koding Hakyo. Koding Hakyo. Koding Hakyo. Okay, to grow old to age. Uh, Nikta. This looks actually pretty funny, this letter. Uh, it was a four letter word. Probably. Nikta. Yeah, yeah. 27. Good old 27. Nikta. To catch. Uh, Japta. Japta. Um, Dal. Ah. Space. The space was missing. Tam Dal. To die. Jukta. Jukta. To be young. Uh, something like Chom or Chopta or both. <laughs> yeah, yeah, both. I think like it was like a four letter. Or it was with like the R again. Uh, like this. And now M or B. I think M. Chomta. Nice. Okay, looks good. Looks good, looks good. Um, this year. All he. All he. It's actually crazy that I know these. Pretty good. Uh, to be old person. Two words. Nai Mani Man I Naimanta? Hmm. I'm not sure, I will look at the options. Nai Man Ta. Hmm. 
Daiga manta. Daiga manta. Ah, oh, the gas, the particle is missing. Daiga manta. East. Tung. 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 To cook. Yori Hada Yori Hada Usually not the Is this is uh, is it Baro? I have no idea. Or is it Potang? Wait. P Potong. Potang? No. Okay, I'll look at the options. Oh, we have a Po here. Oh, Potong. Potong. What was Baro then? Was it immediately? Not super sure. Okay, anyways, uh, bus we have. Pause. Pause. Daytime is. Mat. Was it not map? Oh, not probably. Not. Yeah, yeah because uh, it 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 starts with na like night, so it's like the opposite. To meet uh, manada. Manada. This month, Idal. Not e dial. <sighs> Upon. Ivan dial. Ivan dial. Why do you need to pawn? Hmm. Can't remember. Okay, this one uh, kick guan or kick jang. Kick jang. South is nam. Nam. In my life, ah, this was a weird one. Hmm. Can't remember. <sighs> I 
got to look at the options. Pyong. Oh, yeah, this could be. Pyongseng. I think Pyongseng. Pyongseng. <sighs> Opportunity. Okay, this was the. Uh, Hue. Hue. Sano. I don't know. Rim. Way on. Ah, Kiway. Kiway. Kihu. 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 Okay, Do. To. 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 Jakta. To. Jakada. To Chakada. To Chakada. Okay. To read. Ikta. No. Ikta. Ikta. Office worker. Worker. Uh, hui. Sa. Man, what was it? I had it yesterday or two days ago. Sa was definitely the second syllable, and where? I don't know. Ah, I know, I know, I know, I know. One. Where's that one? Where's that one? Yeah. Last month, G Nan. Dal. Jinandal. To be strange. To job was to be scared. To be strange. E. Isang. Hada. <laughs> Can't type today. Isang. Isang hada. Chef. Okay, we had yori for cook, for, for cooking, to cook. And now we need the person that is cooking, and person is sa. Yori sa. Yori sa. Driver. So drivers, uh, to drive is un. John Hada and the person driving is Unjon Sa. Same concept. Unjon Sa. Unjon Sa. Morning, not a. A Chim is one of them, but they want the other one. I think it's uh, O John. Ojon. Ojon. Cat. Ko Yangi. Ko. Yang. I. Ko Yangi. Sign. Uh, Kanpan. Kanpan. To be all person two words Naiga Manta Naiga Manta to run Dalida Talida Talida to be important Jung Yohada Jung Yohada to drive Un John Hada. Un John Hada. Next week. Ta um ju. 
다음 주 내년 내년 작년 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 이번 주 이번 주 Okay, and with that we have our review completed. Yeah, and that means we can start the lesson how to study Korean.com. Okay, so I I stopped somewhere in the middle of this year, I think. This week. Ah yeah, here we have the this Epon. You can use Epon just like Jinan or Talm when talking about weeks or months to mean this. You cannot say Eponion. My mom will come to Korea this year and A is omitted. Okay, for Korea it's still here. But for this year, all he, it's not. Yeah, because there's already like an A in the end, right? It would be all he. <laughs> I mean, it just makes sense. Yeah, okay, it's only the case for this specific one because this basically ends in the same letter than this one. Okay. You cannot use EPON when talking about minutes, seconds, hours. I want to go to school this hour doesn't make any sense. Yeah, okay. Ipon Shigan. We learned a lot this time. Ipon Shigane. It's more natural to use Ipone instead of Ipon Shigan E, I think. So Ipon, pretty important. 나는 너를 이번에 안 만날 거야. 이번, not 이번. 우리는 이번 시간에 많이 배웠어. 나는 너를 이번에 안 만날 거야. Pon can also be added after Jinan and Talm to mean last next time. In what other cases we had pawn before? Let's see. Yeah, yeah, we had that already. I was thinking so. Next time. We'll go to the very top here and now search down. 
Yeah, okay, here we see it. You can use the word pawn to refer to time. Last time, last time. Ah, and we here we have the uh, next time with Shigan. But for this time, Shigan is unnatural, it's more natural to use pawn. Okay. So you can use both pawn or Shigan. But pawn is more uh, yeah, pawn is more natural for this for E. Is correct. Never mind, you always use pawn, even with Shigan. <laughs> Okay, so it's always Epon, but the question is if you do you use Shigan or just leave it out? It's a bit confusing here, for ex uh, to be honest, because here you see Epon and then Shigan E. Shigan E. Okay, so you have Epon, you have Shigan, and you have E. And if you leave out the Shigan, you ha still have this, the other parts. You have Shipon and you have A. So it's only Shigan, you can put it in or you cannot put it in. But here, he makes it seem, this one, makes it seem like if you use Shigan, you don't use A. See, because it's written like this here. So I think here he, f he forgot the A. Because here, here he has it. Okay. Pair. Per. What is per? When talking about each of these units of time, you can let the particle A to indicate within that unit of time how much something was done. I take this medicine twice per day. I, eat, I meet that friend once per week. Ah, okay. Haru. Here they use Haru for day. Interesting. Haru for day. Wait, I want to check where Haru was used previously. So ill is for specific days with names. Okay, so this is exactly the same as Number plus ill. And what about null? <laughs> I cannot remember all of this. Oh man. Okay. 
specific day in a month with eel. Okay. Null is another huge, uh, another word that means day. On a specific day, okay. Okay, this is super confusing. This il nal haru. Okay, let's see. Twice per day. So this is probably this medicine. This one is... Uh, day, per day, and then two times, so twice. I go to America twice per year. Chonin. Il nione tu pon migoge kayo. Almost all of almost all the examples in this lesson used Dungan. There are other ways you can talk about these time words without using Dungan. Yeah, the material is definitely enough to make my head spin for a while. <laughs> okay, so that's it. Now we go for the practice videos. Let's go. By the way, I have to go uh, on time today. I'm not sure if we can finish this, but we'll start anyways. I will activate my typing here. There's my typing. One. Annyeong. An -nyong. Okay, let's see. All right, let's practice some sentences. I'm going to prompt you with English sentences based on the grammar from Unit 1, Lesson 11, and it's going to be your job to try to translate those sentences into Korean. The first sentence I would like you to try is, I cooked for an hour. I'll give you 10 seconds, and you can start now. Okay, I cooked for an hour. Should be easy, right? Chonin for an hour. So for hour we use pure Korean. <sighs> Is it Hana? It's Han, right? It's only Han. Han. Shigan. Han Shigan. Han Shigan. Dungan. And now cook. Yori. Uh, we have past form, so it's. Yori Osoyo, so it becomes your Yori Osoyo. Okay, let's see. Hanshi Gantungan. Hmm. 
maybe. Okay, here's the subject of the sentence. Now, I want to indicate that I did something for an hour. If I want to talk about just an hour, I need to use han shigan. And if I want to indicate that something happened for a period of time, I want to put duan after the period of time. So this indicates that it happened Looks for very good. an hour. The verb that I did for an hour is cook. And I, in this case, it was in the past, so it's, I cooked. So the verb for to cook is yorihada. And it would look like this, but I'm going to conjugate this into the past tense. And I'll specifically do this. <sighs> yorihada, not yorida. I was so close. I was so close. It's not uh, your ryosoyo, it's yori hesoyo. Formality of the informal high respect form of putting this yo at the end. Ah, close one, close one. Yori hesoyo. Uh, where's the re? Okay. This sentence would read, 저는 한 시간 동안 요리했어요. The next sentence I would like you to try is, I don't have plans next week. I'll give you 10 seconds. I don't have plans next week. Whew. Whew. 저는. Okay, plans is ke. Wek. Ke wek. Ke wek. This is a object, but if we have the word to have, the verb to have. So it is not R or il, it's E or K. In this case, it should be E. And then we have next week, which is uh, Talm, Talmju. Do we need the E? Talmju E. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. There were some cases where I can leave it out, but I'm not sure if this is one of them. I think you can. For for Jew, you can leave it out. You can omit. So I'll just continue like this. So now we have the uh, verb, which is don't have. Okay, now I need to do the negative. can't remember. I know an. Oh wait, wait, to have has its own. It's not ita anymore. It's opsoyo. <laughs> what am I typing? Opsoyo. Okay. It's probably completely uh, incorrect, but let's Seconds, go. And you can start now. Okay, again, the subject of the sentence is I, so I'll put this here. Now I want to indicate the time in which I don't have something. Uh, the time is next week. So I can use the word for next, which is taum, to mean next. And specifically, it's next week. So I'll put taum chu. Uh, that's the time periods or the time, so I'll put a at the end of that. Now this just says I the time periods or the time, so I'll put a at the end of that. Now this just says I next week. I want to indicate that I don't have something, and if you want to indicate that somebody doesn't have something, you want to use the word opta. And I'm going to conjugate this again into the informal high respect just for fun. Now I want to indicate the thing that I do not have, which is plans. As you learned in lesson 11, the noun for a plan is kewek. I'll put that here. 
And whenever you indicate that somebody doesn't have something, you want to use this particle on it here. So this whole sentence would read, 저는 다음 주에 계획이 없어요. The third sentence I Okay, basically, um, I forgot the A, so I, I, I was wondering when I wrote it if I need it or not. I thought you don't, but I guess I did need it. Apart from that, um, I have uh, next week and plans like switched around, but I think it's okay. I think it's both correct. Okay, let's continue. I would like you to try is I eat meat once per day. I'll give you 10 seconds and you can start now. 저는 uh, once per day. Whew. I just looked at this per like a few minutes ago and I already forgot. I know you put an A in there. <sighs> Can't remember. Uh... I don't know which day you would use. Do you use Haru? Harue? Harue? It's completely incorrect, but now I'll do the rest. Uh, meat, Kogi, 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 Kogi. Uh, Kogi Re. Eat. Mokda conjugated. Mogoyo. Whew. This once per day is definitely. Incorrect. Okay, again, the subject of the sentence is I, so I'll start the sentence like that. The noun for meat in Korean is kogi, and that's going to be the uh, object of the sentence because it's the thing that I'm eating so I'm gonna put the object particle on it here now I now he's putting the object and then the the time the once per week and in the sentence before that he put next week first and then the object <laughs> if I want to indicate that Unlucky. I do something once per day in one day if I ever want to talk about one day I have to use the word haru yeah, okay. And uh, if I ever want to indicate that something happens once per day or twice per day or three times per day, I can use this sort of structure by putting A at the end of whether it's two days or three days okay, or Okay, so far it's actually correct. Is. And it's going to happen once in this particular case. So I'll put Hanbun here. Oh, I put again, Ibon. This happen it's all correct, only that I didn't use the correct number. I use the Chinese number instead of the Korean one. Wow, it was way closer than expected. 
Chan. Been twice per day, I would say Du Ban. And if this happened three times per day, I would say Se Ban. And if it happened once per two days, I would put two days here. I could say E E. And then I could say once per day. So E Tere Han Ban. If it was twice per two days, it would be E Tere Du Ban. But in this particular case, it's once, which is just Han Ban. And per day, which would be uh, the Haru E. And specifically, what I'm doing is I'm eating something. So I'm going to put the verb to eat, which is Mokta. And again, I'll conjugate it into the informal high respect form just for fun. This sentence would read, The next two sentences we would like you to try are similar both in, in grammar structure and in vocabulary. So I'm going to show you both of them and you can try to translate both of them at the same time. The first sentence uh, is, The weather was hot for three days. And the next sentence is, The weather was hot on the third. And when I say on the 3rd, what I'm specifically talking about is, you know, if it's, if maybe you're saying the sentence on August 10th, you're going to say, well, on the 3rd, on specifically on August 3rd, and I, I'm not actually saying August in this particular sentence, but for example, if I happen to be saying this on August 10th, I might be saying, oh, well, on the 3rd, on the 3rd, it was really, really hot. So that's the situation that I'm trying to create here. I'll give you 10 seconds, and you'll probably need more time because there's two sentences here, but take 10 seconds, and if you need more time, press the pause button, and I'll translate both of these for you after you're done. I'm always pressing the pause button. <laughs> I always need more time. Okay, but anyways, should be pretty okay. Okay, first we need to know what the weather means. And there we have our first problem. I don't know what weather means. I totally forgot. And also, I think we have not learned it. I just, in this uh, workbook, I encountered it and somebody in the chat told me what weather means. I think it was Flo, but I actually don't know. Ah, Flo, you're here again. <laughs> okay, weather, Nalsi. Nalshi, Nalshi. Okay, thank you. Okay, so let's do this. Nal. Nalshi. Okay, this is the subject. So Nalshi Nin. Uh, was hot. Wow. For three days. Okay, so it's an adjective. The to be is already included in the adjective, so you only need to put noun, adjective, conjugated. But here we have four three days, so we put the four three days in between. Um, three days. Chinese numbers or, or Korean numbers? I think Korean numbers. But which day? Which of the three day words? don't remember. Okay, but we put... Uh, let's use Nal. I'm not sure. Ah, wait. Here is the counter for specific days. I'm saying with this. I have no idea. Tung an. Tung an. Tung an e. 
んなねえっとっぽよ<笑> Oh my god the sentence probably so wrong Now I copy this to number five as well and I change because it's on the third I, I change the null to Samil because I need il for specific days and this is a specific day and if I use il I think I use uh, Chinese numbers and sum is Chinese for three so Samil but then of course Dungan is incorrect so I put it like this oh it's also it's also a uh, past form so let's let's conjugate this to past form the verb uh, the adjective in the end top top da it's a uh, tobosoyo Like this. Okay, this is probably completely wrong. Let's see. Oh, baby, uh, baby, Dan, you're already you're already finished with your uh, website. You, you can show me. Uh, I will only uh, check these two uh, solutions. What? Ngrok? Not sure what you're saying, but I will check the solutions now and then I will check your message. Okay, in both sentences we're talking about the weather, so I'm going to put Nalsi at the beginning of both of them. You could put Nalsi Nun or you could put Nalsi Ka. I'm going to put Nalsi Ka just because it would, in most situations, it would probably be more common to write. Uh, you could put Nun, and the difference would be very slight but there would be a difference and this is sort of a, a thing that beginners of Korean have a hard time understanding but I really don't want to focus on that right now I just want you to know that you could put nun or a ka but in this case I'm going to use ka because it's probably the most common one now in both cases I'm going to indicate that it was hot and uh, so I'll do that here and the adjective to be hot is topda uh, but if it's being conjugated into the past stop It's an irregular. It's definitely an irregular. I realized before the solution. I realized it. It's uh, the B irregular. And for the B irregular, you remove the B and yet an U, which makes it Osoyo. You need to know your lesson seven irregulars, and I, I'm going to have to specifically conjugate this uh, like like this, and it's in the past tense in the informal high respect. Perfect. Oh, <laughs> what's so yo? Now, in both sentences that I have right now, this just says the weather was hot and the weather was hot. I need to indicate that it was hot for three days and it was hot on the third. As we saw in uh, the, the first sentence that we created in this video, I need to use the word Dongan. And that indicates that for this period, which I haven't written down yet, it, there was something happening. Well, what's Not the period? Well, what the period is three days. Only so I could write the numeral or I could write the, uh, the word. I'll just write the numeral to make it simple. And three days is the period. So here it says the weather was hot for three days. Or in Korean, it would be 날씨가 3일 동안 더웠어요. 3일. So it's actually Chinese. Damn. It's actually Chinese. And he's also using 일 and not 날. <sighs> Now, if I want to indicate that it happened or this it was hot on the third, 
as you learned uh, in my lesson, specifically in lesson 11, if you want to indicate that something occurred on a particular day of the month, and that's the sentence that we created here, what you do is you write down the day that it happened, followed by ir, and this looks very, very similar, but instead, instead of saying tongan, you have to say e. And this would say, now she got samire tosoyo. This might be a little bit awkward uh, because, you know, if it was, as I was saying before, if you were saying this on August uh, 10th then you were referring to the third day of August, you'd probably most likely say, oh, the weather was hot last week or something like that. However, maybe if it was, maybe if it was uh, sometime in, uh, in December and you were talking about, oh, on August 3rd, it was really, really, really hot, you could, you'd probably more likely say that, you'd want to say that it, it was hot specifically on August uh, third, and if you wanted to say that, the way to say August in Korean is parwar, which is just the numeral uh, eight, followed by war, which means month. Now, this sentence here would specifically indicate the the month and the day that it was hot, but this is not actually the sentence that I told you to create. I'm just telling you that maybe more commonly said like this if you're specifically referring to a day, but it is also possible to to use the sentence that we created without the month. Maybe, if, as I said, sometime if it was at the end of the month of August and you wanted to specifically refer to the third day of that month. Well, that was fun. I hope you learned a lot. I guess I still have to check when do you use which word for the days. I have no idea. And also, when do you use Chinese numbers and when do you use Korean numbers? I have to review that next lesson because I'm stopping the stream now. I will review it next lesson and then I will do the second uh, video after reviewing that. Okay, uh, yeah, so to, to finish this, uh, Baby Dane, uh, so you have a working version locally, right? But there's nothing to show, right? No nothing that I could access right now and show it and check it out. There is, but... <laughs> One sec. I, I mean... We can just do it tomorrow. I don't want to. Like, you, you started it. It's it's not like I want to pressure you into showing it now, uh, and you're not quite done. And maybe it's buggy or so. Yeah, I I know how it is. I I know how it is when you. You have something. You're working on it, and someone is coming to you. Oh, show it in me f in five minutes, and and you ah, but. But this feature is not quite working right. Maybe I can do it in five minutes. There's always something not working when you're like this under pressure. It's, it's, there's always something that's not working that you are not thinking about in those five minutes. It's always the case. So just, uh, yeah, just work on it. Make sure it's working. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I, I just want to say, just let's uh, check it out tomorrow. But now, okay, I will. I will check it. I hope you don't have any uh, any weird things on your website that I cannot show on stream. Let let, let me check first. <laughs> okay. This is the home page. Yes, home page. Words, learn, settings. Settings page, learn. Okay, here's the learn. The learn has a lot of content. Okay, units. So those are the units. So let's see. Uh, uh, what's my favorite word? Let's see. I have no favorite word. <laughs> okay, we just check out some irregulars here. Wait, why does it start in the middle at like 20 or so? Ah, now it's on first, okay. Ah, okay, it's, it starts on 20. Okay. But I will go for unit uh, lesson one. Hanguk. 
Korea. Oh, hover to show, yeah. Hover to show, okay. Okay. Uh, Toshi City. Irem. <laughs> Irem. Uh, I think. Now? Ah, Irem. <laughs> Name, of course. <laughs> I, formal. I, un informal. Namja, man, woman, that, this, that far away, thing, doctor, chair, chair, yeah. okay, anyways, yeah, uh, looks good. So these checkboxes are for like if you're doing this yourself, then you can select if it's correct or incorrect, I guess. Okay. <laughs> the website is called uh, uh, slash game <laughs> it's not a game okay settings uh, and words are not implemented so here you can use you can use this to learn I see so uh, this should not be zero based I guess I guess it should be start with one um, let's see okay this works Mm. What I don't like, maybe it's just me personally, but for example, I'm in 4, I want to go to 3 now, and then I want to go to 2, it all works. Like, I, I move my mouse to the left, and I can go 1 back, you know, but when I'm in the middle of something, I'm 9, I, I go to 8, and then I want to go to 7, I like, I expect I need to move, move my mouse to the left, but it's actually here because the selected one is always in the middle. Uh, I don't know, it feels weird in my opinion. Maybe just uh, leave out the, the all the numbers and just put the, the arrows here. So you can just do it like this without the numbers in between. Or yeah, or I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think just the arrows are better to be honest. Yeah, but uh, of course, very good. I think I will put uh, two buttons here for correct and incorrect because if it's incorrect I always need to pr uh, click twice and yeah feels like uh, feels easier if there are two buttons and if you select one of them the other one mm, no yeah you just have two of course you can't like if you select one the other one gets this it uh, gets uh, unchecked of course So it's like a radio button, basically.
yeah so and and, and then what's what's your plan with the uh like with the learning you said uh, it will save uh, if it's correct or incorrect like what will be the functionality behind that for us like will it show you how many you have correct or incorrect will it show you the things that you did last time or or what what do you have planned for that okay okay you're just starting okay <laughs> yeah it's it's nice so obviously a search would be nice in my opinion maybe you put this uh, here for words in words you implement a search maybe so i can just yeah just S search for like if you if I enter prof it instantly shows me this this word for example and all the other words that have prof in it or I also can just enter one single syllable a Korean syllable it shows me all of the words with that syllable ju just like a normal live search that you don't have to click a search button to get the results but it automatically gives the results while you type I think that would be that would be nice to search for specific words because sometimes sometimes I have the situation where I'm uh, I, I use memorize and I should type a specific word and I can't quite remember it and like I remember something that is similar to it or so with a certain syllable in it and I know ah I think it has this syllable in it, but I'm not sure which of the two it is. Stuff like that. I don't know. Sometimes I think it can be useful to be able to search for specific syllables and you get all the words with that syllable. I think that's also nice because here, for example, Kyo, Kyo you can see all the words that have yeah that have to do with education you want to do ah yeah there was this other word where i had this cure already right which one was it ah it was it was uh, school correct it makes sense stuff like that you know <laughs> yeah i mean uh Everyone has to find their own ways to learn, you know? And I mean, being a, a web developer or a software developer is always nice for s <laughs> such stuff. I, I know it myself, like I sometimes I just do a little project because because I can and it, it gives me like a minor, sometimes minor, sometimes not as minor, more like major. Uh, benefits and I just implement it for one day or two days and then it's nice for example I implemented a, a basic file search for my computer the Windows file search is so bad it takes so long to find specific files I wanted to search my whole hard drive that has terabytes of data I want to search for a specific file and I wasn't quite sure where it is and i used the window search and it took like hours i just implemented my own search in java and i get the results in 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 10 minutes or so and the, while the window search needs over one hour <laughs> it's crazy I I love uh, being a developer. You can just do something that helps you in your real life, and you you just do something, and then you have a result that you can use. It's it's so nice, in my opinion. That's what I love about being a developer. It's not like you learn some like business administration. You learn it in 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 your studies. You study it. You can't use it in your private life. You can't use it and have something. You can't just 
build a company for fun in two days and use it, you know? <laughs> it's it's not applicable in private life, but software development, you can always just write a little program that helps you with something and you have it and it works. It's so nice. Yeah, okay, so I think with that I will stop the stream. <laughs> so yeah, looking forward to the website. If you work some more on it, definitely feel free to, to show me and I can show it on stream to the one or two other viewers that are maybe here. <laughs> but yeah, it will be nice. So. Yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Thanks for your input, guys. And with that, bye bye and annyeong.